we love our regulars and our community. Emma Bradshaw has worked for Starbucks for three years. She likes her job and her customers, but things started to go sour at the store on University Avenue and Richmond Street about eight months ago. An electrical fire forced the store to close, and the generators powering the store ever since have been unreliable. For a few months, it was like we had a joke at the store that Tuesdays, every single Tuesday, we would lose power. I think it was like multiple weeks in a row that we would have to close. Those closures have meant Bradshaw has lost a lot of work and came close to losing her health insurance. Unionizing with her colleagues, she says, will give them a greater voice. Well, it's just been kind of a frustrating last year, and I think that's what's mostly pushed me towards moving or joining the union. Beyond the loss of income, barista Ali Dodge says managers have forced employees to restart the generators when they break down, even when it's raining. Um, which is really scary and really dangerous, and I don't get paid enough to do something so dangerous. Um, my job is to make coffee. <laughs> Dodge once called the fire department after a breaker box exploded inside. She says her manager threatened consequences because she didn't call corporate first. She took the job at Starbucks because she believed in the company's mission and values. Working here, I started to realize like that management doesn't really have your back and like the mission and values kind of, they really don't matter, especially when it comes to partner safety and partner security. Starbucks recently announced it was closing a different store in Hillcrest, the one at Fifth and Robinson, a half mile away, claiming it was because of incidents involving the homeless community. Dodge and Bradshaw say the homeless who visit their store are kind and respectful and usually just want a cup of water. Andrew Bowen, KPBS News.